Welcome to New Hampshire for the running of the Lakes Region 200 for race number 19 here of the NRL Granger Series season number 3. So we're getting close to the, closer to the playoffs. More of these drivers are coming hung, are becoming hungry to try and get a win to walk themselves in. Well, not necessarily walk themselves in, but get them up there in points so that they can try and make the playoffs. On the pole for today's race is Roger Ray in the number 5 to the outside. Marcus Kyer, we actually had a tie for the pole, but because Roger Ray is higher up in points than Marcus Kyer, that settled the tiebreaker. In row 2, you have J.J. Reed and E.Y. Bright, and rounding out the top 5, it's Jonathan Raines, Regan James, and Zachary Fitzwater Sr., Jay Jefferson, Antonin Charlebois, and then Andrew Miller rounds out the top 10. Followed by Stuart Gratton, Dash Boren, Juan Garcia, and Mitchell Henderson, Joe Jefferson, Sebastian Kukulon, Riley Spurley, Tubin, Max Anderson, Nicholas Wade, and Alexander Rowe, Co. Luigi and Greg Torres, Will Bowen, and Thomas Jericho, DJ Reed and Michael Canto, Diego Yepes, and Ryan Ferris, your points leader, Nathan Stapleton and Victor Delgado, Andrew Noriga and Colton Yo. Last race is winner Mathis Wells and Derek Northrup, Ray Jacobs and Tristan Allen, who almost won the last race, Jerry Northrup and Derek Hamill, and Veronica Platts, and Phoebe Iwata, rounding out the field. Let's go trackside for the command. Great command to get the engines fired. Here in New Hampshire, as we're getting set for 23 laps around this one mile oval. We call it the magic mile, so we're going to see who has the magic wand today. Pace car is off, and here they come down the front stretch. Great flag is already in the air. That was a pretty quick start. And Roger Ray already clears the 17. Oh, you know this is going to be a boring race when the top two are already already single file. And the leader's pulling away. Eli Bright gets clear. J.J. Reed, or does he? Reed fighting back here on the inside. Can he make it stick? Roger Ray in the five will lead the first lap. Still side by side here for second. Bright winless so far this season. Winless in this series, actually. And JJ Reed already has one win, two wins in total in his career. So he's now fighting or battling here with Jonathan Reigns, who moved to the outside of him. Reigns also has a win. He also has a championship in this series. Roger Ray still has the lead here, now on lap three. See, they actually have the bumps on the backstretch here. Unlike New Hampshire 2013. Marcus Kyer is right there where he needs to be to potentially fight for the lead here. But Roger Ray is a strong car. Yeah, they're getting they're gonna be single file by the end of this race. Which is unfortunate. Right now the top ten is all single file here. Right on board here with the seventeen of Marcus Kyer. But here we have a battle. Andrew Miller and Juan Garcia. Garcia on the inside. Miller on the outside. Looks like Juan Garcia might take the position here. No, Miller. 
with a huge run down the back stretch. He might, no, he's not going to be able to get down in front of the 19. Now he will when they get off the corner here. Because he's going to have the run off or not. Still side by side here. On the back stretch, Miller clears the 19. Garcia's going to drive it in. Might be enough, actually. Oh, he gets Miller up out of the groove. 51 almost in the wall. Now Garcia's in front here. And looks like the 19 will hang on to 11th. Or get around Miller for 11th. Miller's going to try a crossover move now to the inside. Oh, they're three wide there in the back. Thomas Jericho up top. Mathis Wells, our last race's winner, down low, and Diego Yepes in the middle. Roger Ray still out in front. It's Tristan Allen. Who has actually fallen all the way to last now. So is Derek Northrup. So those two are the, are the last cars on track currently. Math as well is trying to get around Diego Yepes now. Alexander Rowe to the inside of Dash Boren. Alexander Rowe already a winner this season, not in the NRL Granger series, but in the Aquafina NRL Cup series. He won at Michigan. Luigi up the track. Dash Boren will hang on to the spot now. But still out front, it's the five of Roger Ray. So we have 11 laps to go here in New Hampshire. I think this top 10 is all settled in. New Hampshire is not really that great of a track. I will say that. Ten to go now. Ten more miles. No, nine and a half. Where's that kid with the flag? <laughs> with all the flags. He might be there. They might have actually added him in. I wonder. I think he was there at the 2016 race. Yeah, this is the 2016 version of New Hampshire. But it's a league track, so that's not that's probably why it's not so great. So, for the cup race, I guess I'll be using 2013, New Hampshire. Is it, at least I think it's 2013, maybe it's 2014. This is the 2016 version of the track, though. I know it has the NASCAR Nationwide Series logo on it, but, or on the track. And it still has the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series logo, but even though it became the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series that season... No, it became the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series in 2017. I'm dumb, apparently.
This is a nice camera angle, actually. Shut up, plane. Top 10 is, have all broken away from the rest of the field. Or the rest of the freight train, sorry. That's how stupid an R2003 is. <laughs> On lap 18, we have six laps to go. So, Code, you don't have to count this as a win if you don't want to, because it's New Hampshire. And it's a boring, old NR2003 track. So... That's probably why it's dumb. It's also a league track, so I shouldn't even be using this version. I just need to not use league tracks. We race four laps to go. And my back is hurting again. Three laps to go. For Roger Ray to win. Because that's what's going to happen. No one's going to be able to get around him. Typical New Hampshire. This is why I hate this track. I don't know why I put it on schedule. Two laps to go. They come through three and four. Marcus Kyer moved up the track a little bit there. White flag in the air, one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Roger Ray has led every lap of this race. Well, he dominated the race. Now as he comes off turn number four, Roger Ray will see the checkered flag for the second time this season. He wins the Lakes Region 200 at New Hampshire. Or New Hampshire, but whatever. Roger Ray needs another win. This is actually his second win in the Granger series and his fourth overall, this is his fourth career win in the NRL. Or at least in the top two series. He has two wins this season in the Granger series, two wins this season in the Aquafina NRL Cup series. This is race 18. I'll fix that. Alright. Well, Roger Ray wins. Marcus Kyer second. Eli Bright third. JJ, JJ Reed fourth. Jonathan Reigns fifth. Regan James. Zachary Fitzwater. Anton and Charlebois, Jay Jefferson, and Stuart Gratton rounding out the top 10. See the rest of the finishing results. Taking out the victory lane, and we'll check out the points. 
Roger Ray, each side of win here at New Hampshire. Hooray. Pretty boring race, am I right? Yes, yes I am. I'm always right. <laughs> Shut up, plane. Yep, okay, this is race 18. Not found. What's wrong with you, butt cheek? Thanks, region 200. No, that's the Aquafina and her World Cup series. What the hell? No. Ryan Ferris hangs on to the points lead again. Oh, I guess Marcus Geyer was ahead of Roger Rain points then. Oh well. So Brian Ferris hangs on the points lead by one, or no, sorry, 93 points now. I think. Yeah, 93 points. Over Thomas Jericho in second. E.Y. Bright comes up to third. Marcus Kyer fourth. Roger Ray in fifth now. Will Bowen. J. Jefferson. Riley Spurley tube. Tristan now and Diego Yepes round out the top ten in points. These are the rest of the, the, rest of the point standings. Alright. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.